This is a test of frequency instruments, bass, drums, distortion. So yeah, totally agree with that one. Question, I got a question for all of you, and I, I, this is one I, I, I guess I can put input in, but you guys more so than me. Um, family, because now it's not just about you as as black men navigating through society, but it's it's raising black men in societies or what society would look at and say, oh, you are not, um, you're, you're, you're of different complexion to me, you're a different race or background to me. How do I feel about that? And how do you, how do you teach your kids how to navigate the society? I know you touched on this earlier on, on Daniel, but it's just, um, was it Daniel? I think I would, Liam, I can't remember. Was someone touching it earlier on in terms of um, educating the, their kids and bringing up their their children and be able to navigate how to move different was Daniel actually how to move in the society and and that's my next thing and the next topic is how do we how do we do this how do we bring on um, this influence and change that we're trying to put forward how do we believe it's going to happen but then also teach our next generation how to navigate the world as is now because it's still yet not where we want it to be. What a question, boy. <laughs> I can only ask the fathers here because I'm not one. One day I will be and I, you can ask me it back. But right now I'm asking the fathers, man. How do we teach these kids to navigate? Well, do you know what, yeah? It's like... It's like doing a test that you're never going to know the answers to until about 20 years. <laughs> that's, basically, well, that's, that's, basically, like, that's basically it. Like, you're... you're I'm using my own experiences mm. and what I think is best for them for the future. But I have no idea if I'm doing it right or wrongly. And I won't know until they're about my age and they have their own kids. Then okay. I can see whether or not I'm doing it right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we can go so deep into this, into this like topic but I, I can't because we yeah. don't have the time to be honest yeah. all the, the the contracts but like <laughs> with, with like my <laughs> with like my kids I try and let them be themselves and not really push the whole race thing I, I don't I don't tr I try not to hone on the fact that you're black do you know what i mean because i kind of want them to know that you can do whatever do you know what i'm saying i feel like the moment that i that i install that okay they're yeah. whatever they're whatever you're black or automatically because of what they get taught at school and because of what they will see in society, automatically I feel like their brain is already going to work in a certain place and be like, well, I haven't seen, and this is subliminal, and this is just my opinion, you know, like I haven't mm. seen many black pilots, so I probably shouldn't be a pilot. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I get I what you're saying. Or I haven't seen many, whenever I go to the hospital when there's been a surgeon or something, there hasn't really been many black surgeons, so maybe I don't want to be a, a surgeon. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you you be what you see. You, do you know what I'm saying? So Doesn't that push them down like the road of only going for the jobs that they think they can? Like, you see a lot of us in sports, you see a lot of us in entertainment. Isn't that only, I mean... I which is why, which is why I try not to push that narrative. Mm. If you understand what I mean, I try not to push that. So, in terms of when we go, when they go to school, the only thing they're gonna learn about black people is slavery. That's it. Yeah. Unless it's changed now, which Liam can tell me, because I'm only talking about because I can only go on what I I hear they tell me at my school. In my school, they never learn anything about black people apart from slavery. Same. And I haven't heard anything from them in regards to black history other than slavery. Actually, Liam, is that is that changed? Yeah, it's changing and it's changing rapidly. I think what you're finding is, especially with recent instances that have taken place globally, you're seeing a, a huge shift in education. I mean, I'm a fan um, and an advocate to, for teaching the black curriculum. Um, black History Month is well celebrated, for example, in my school, but it's also not just celebrated on a month, is is integrated into the curriculum of other subjects as mm. well 
and it's, and slavery isn't listen sl slavery unfortunately is a part of history so the awareness is there but also celebrating black culture uh, black british culture um other black culture glo global black culture as well is important and being in integrated and embedded in schools listen there's still a fight and there is still a lot of work to be done um in education mm -hmm. and it's something that i personally am fighting for um but just going back to, to, to the point surrounding what, what, what you're saying in terms of our young people, my children in particular, mm. it starts with me. As a black man, I I try my best to emulate what I want my boys um, to represent, what I want my um, daughters to, to to respect, and and especially in schools as well with, the, with young black boys that I teach. Breaking barriers down about masculinity, for example, in my in, in my home, I'll kiss my wife, I'll hug her, I'll show affection, I'll kiss my children, you know, I will um, show my emotions to them, and letting them understand that and embrace themselves. That listen, culturally, it's okay to do that, and then understanding and respecting other cultures, teaching that early for me is so so important. Um, teaching young people early also about. Yes, there are. You might not see many black pilots on TV or in the books, but guess what? They're out here. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You can be that person too.